Hi Gemini, welcome to your end of February general forecast. This is Mary, it's Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Gemini, we're going to look at the energy around you at this time. It could be about love, it could be general, it could be about anything. We're just going to take the energy as it comes. So welcome, hope everybody's doing well. I just want to apologize for all the readings being um, late as I've been very sick the past week with the flu. So really knocked me out for an entire week. I couldn't even go to my full-time job. So please bear with me because I still have a little bit of a cough I can't seem to get rid of. So if I cough periodically through this reading, please uh, forgive me and uh, bear with me through this. So welcome in. Hope everybody's doing well. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Male, female, doesn't matter. Please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Could be past, present, future. If it's not your reading, if it's not fitting, not making sense, please don't try to make it fit. It's just not your reading. Or it could be something going on with somebody around you. Please keep that in mind also. So Gemini, let's see. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, planet. If you're not resonating with whatever comes out here, totally fine. So let's see for Gemini at this time. I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back, watch past readings, links are below in the description box for your um, love and general playlist, as well as the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that information is below. And I'll also pin some of that information to the top comment in the comment section. All right, Gemini, let's see. Mercury, well, that's your own energy. This is a planet of Gemini. So Gemini, you may need to really, uh, Mercury is all about communication, speaking up. It's about everything to do with the mind, thoughts, ideas, communication, being truthful and honest, open, honest, clear communication. So you may need to be communicating about something, Gemini. Hmm, okay. Or maybe you have, um, could I have a Gemini around you? Or I feel like this is just your energy. 15 is 6. 6 is all about healing and balancing. Alright, so let's get an opening message for you, Gemini. At this time, for Gemini, please. Open message for Gemini. Oh, that's two. I just want one. Respect. I just got this for Leo, I believe. And we have 15 again, six again with a healing, balancing energy. So it's either you're wanting respect from somebody or you need to give somebody the respect they deserve. And there needs to be some sort of communication around that. Wow, we got 15, 15. Wow. Gemini. Holy crap. You add that together, that's 30 and that's three and you're three. And yeah, that together, three, three, six is that healing, balancing energy. Something, somebody or someone that you know, a friend, a family, a coworker here, there needs to be a communication conversation about respect or something. That's been coming up a lot in the readings here. So oh, what's going on, Gemini? All right, so let's get an energy card for you and then we'll pull tarot all around that. And then we'll look at the situation, advice, possible outcome, dowry. So this is 42, which is six. I can't make this up. This could have to do with something with your home life, your nest, your foundation, your basis, something you're trying to build, a home life, a nest, your stability, your structure, your foundation, your basis. Maybe you're trying to become single and independent. You're trying to build a life for yourself on your own. You're trying to build your nest. You're trying to build your foundation. Trying to be balanced. But there's something about respect in this. Hmm, okay. Secret Keeper, 17. Frog Mouth, 17 is 8. And 8 is about taking action, taking control, movement, travel. But we have Secret Keeper here. So, and... That card doesn't necessarily mean somebody's keeping secrets. But let's see what um, here. You are being encouraged to seek out the secrets being held in trust by your elders. Approach them with the respect and ask them to share their sacred knowledge. 
ask questions about their history, their childhood, and the way of their generation, inquire as to what life was like for them, how they interacted with their peers and kin, and in the responsibilities expected from them by their seniors, speak of chores, education, and wars, of time spent at school, of love, fashion, and economic flow. Most importantly, though, ask the elders of spirit, God, creation, and the, med and the medicine ways of all things. Seek their opinion on things of nature, for example, the cycles of life in the universe. Ask about the things that make your heart sing, of what saddens you, and what inspires you to reach higher levels of awareness. Ask until there is nothing more to ask, and then incorporate the memories and wisdom of these things into your life and share them with the blessings of your elders as the sacred knowledge of your people. Wow. So I think whatever you're building here, um, whether <clears throat> it's your future, it's your foundation, something here, I think you need to get more knowledge about your history, your ancestry, and that kind of... Um, there needs to be more respect about your lineage, your ancestry, your elders, everything like that just described. It's like the secret of life, the secret of your history, your family's history, your lineage, everything there. There may be something that you need to know for some reason that you may want to look into. Something very, I feel, respectful. So however that means for you. And I think it's just going to help you on your journey here. Hmm, it's kind of an odd message, but... Wow. I think it'll be very healing and balancing for you to understand everything of the past. Going back generations. Hope that makes sense for somebody... All right, so let's get this energy. What is going on here, Gemini? And that is all, you know, Mercury is all about communication. So I feel like you really need to, I feel like do like research and really dig deep and learn and grow and find, find like a newfound respect for your ancestry, your lineage, your DNA, your, I mean, everything. There may be things you don't know, things that may help you to better understand you and who you are as you build a life for yourself. Wow. Okay. Gemini. So if you're one that doesn't know much about your family's history, it may be time to start doing that research. All right. So what's going on here for Gemini? <clears throat> so making a decision a judgment call here this is resurrection of the past I think you need to resurrect your past <laughs> you need to like do that deep like digging and research on your past on your family's past like I said your ancestry all that kind of energy all right, and making that just decision to do so, a judgment call. Queen of Wands energy, so it's a very fiery, passionate kind of energy. It's also like an entrepreneur kind of energy. So if you're like an entrepreneur or something, maybe there's something in your family's ancestral past that can help you understand your future, I feel. I know, I think there's some secrets about your family or something that you don't know that I think would only make you stronger and would only help you to build a better life for yourself and understand this life for yourself. Maybe you're being led to go down a certain path, a certain life, and you don't understand why. Okay, so now we have the magician. So yeah, manifesting a brand new beginning here. So you're manifesting... A new beginning here but then we have the ten of swords just flew out here so this is an ending so they always say after an ending always comes a new beginning so let's see what else is here seven of swords so that could be kind of sneaky behavior um something not trustworthy 
the lovers here. There could be actually something in your ancestry you don't even know that's like been kept covered up that's been like a big secret like there could even be like a big um an entrepreneur in your lineage that you didn't even know you didn't even know you're related to and maybe there was some sort of secret affair between like liaisons between that person and somebody else or something here. I'm just getting with the Seven of Swords and the Lovers. I mean, that's your energy, Gemini. Maybe somebody was a magician centuries ago. I don't know. I'm almost getting a weird vibe from this. Like, it almost sounds like something from a movie. But, I don't know. So let's get more on this energy. Four of Wands, yeah, it reminds, it reminds me of the dowry there. This is about your stability, your home life, your foundation. can also be about, um, I was going to say celebrating, but I celebrity wanted to come out. You could be related to a celebrity like hundreds of years ago that maybe was a magician. You could be related to Houdini, who knows. But I feel like there's some sort of secret, like, uh, oh. This is very, very strange. Uh, a secret or like a lover's triangle. Maybe it was in the public eye. I don't know. This is very strange. Knight of Cups. So moving forward. I must feel like this is a personal reading. So this definitely could be a message for somebody. If you've been being led to look in your past, your lineage, your ancestry, your whatever, I think you should. For some of you, this may make sense. But uh, Knight of Cups, you know, is moving forward in a loving, compassionate energy, but being stressful, nervous, fair. I feel like you're moving in the right direction, whatever you're trying to build here. But you're stressed out about it. Tower moment here. Let's get one more. Four of Pentacles. So holding on to your stability, your basis, your foundation again. So that Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles all reminds me of like that dowry card. You may, with the tower moment, you may find out a big surprise, something shocking about your past, your family's past, your history. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you're trying to build a life for yourself. You're trying to build, I guess, got empire or a business or an entrepreneurship kind of energy or something in your home life, trying to stabilize something, trying to manifest this brand new beginning. There's been some sort of ending here, but now you're manifesting something new. But there's some sort of sneaky behavior around a lover. I mean, that could make sense for you if, you know, you've had a lover... That was sneaky, that had other lovers, and now you're going on your own, building a new life for yourself. That could be the tower moment, finding that out. So I'm getting different messages here. So, you know, you finally like respecting yourself, like, you know, I deserve more than this secret keeper. I mean, finding out the secret here, maybe this person, you know, had many other lovers and it came as a shock and surprise for you. Now you're just holding back your energy from this person. You're moving on without them. You're having a stable life on your own, manifesting a new brand, brand new beginning. But that judgment card, you know, making that decision, it can be also about forgiveness. That's for some of you. Advice for you, the high priestess, listening to your gut, your intuition, knowing what's the right thing to do here. Um, but keeping it to yourself also, not like telling everybody either. Yeah, because you're feeling bored, complacent now. The Four of Cups energy. Temperance. So tempering your energy, balancing yourself out. Healing energy, patience. And the star. Yeah, so this is being pa telling you, be patient with yourself. You know, keep to yourself here. Like, you know the secret. You found out the secret. The High Priestess energy. I think you were bored and complacent anyway. 
But you can get through this by tempering your energy, patience, healing. The star's here for divine healing. Something that was meant to be, unfortunately, with the star energy. So, all right. Possible outcome here, three of pentacles. So, no, it's working on yourself, taking care of yourself. <coughs> Could be learning something new. Six of pentacle energy, again, with balance. Working on yourself, balancing yourself out, balance, balance. Two of Wands, you know, making plans, decisions for your future now, looking ahead to the future, your own, building your own dowry for the future, respecting yourself. Moving on, I feel like, I don't feel, well, we do have the Ten of Swords for a painful, heartful ending there. But other than that, I feel like, yeah, it was painful, but it's like, oh, well, it is what it is, and now you're just moving on. Maybe, you know, you were bored in this relationship anyway. So now you're like, well, whatever it is, it is. And now moving on from that. But for some of you, I feel like you need to find out about your family's past, something with your family's past. Um, for some of you going in a new direction and you're not understanding why you're being called to go in a direction you would never really would have thought of. I think there's something in your... DNA or ancestry that's really going to help you understand something that makes sense for some of you. So on the bottom here, we have the Six of Wands. So going after your success, victory for your future. Two of Cups. So this is about soulmate union. I mean, you could find another soulmate in the future. But this is just being aligned with only those that serve your highest good. Aligned with your true self, your higher self. Going into a better place. You could be physically moving. Again, building that dowry, moving to a better place, more healing, calm place. Queen of Pentacles, knowing your value, your worth, being stable and grounded, abundant. Knight of Swords, again, taking, I feel like you took, may, may have taken quick action here once secrets were revealed, tower moment came in, just got up, took action, took off, used this sword, cut away things no longer serving you, truths, kind of energy. Yeah, some of you could be divorced or just doing what's right and just for you. Bring justice to yourself. Maybe going out with friends, being single, you know, having that single life now. So we have Libra. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Kind of energy. And we have Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius. Um... Gemini Virgo, Gemini, what is this here, uh, let's see, Scorpio Cancer Pisces, Cancer Pisces, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aries, Aries is Scorpio, energy, so those are the energies I see, so mixed messages there, so I guess take it how it resonates, so So I do ask Gemini, especially if you're new, you like my style, how I read. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. I do about five readings a month. Feel free to check out my channel. Again, I'd like what you see if you subscribe. Thank you. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to those who have tipped, donated, reached out for personal readings, sent a gift. Thank you. Thank you. Couldn't do without you guys. So, oh wow, it's way too many. Okay. Let's take this one. We have home. Wow. And we got the dowry there. I can't make this up. Your household situation is improving, even though either through a move. Wow. And I had said that or a healthy change in the occup occupants. So, yep. Some of you feel like got up here, left home, moved or moving, going on your own. All right. Healthy change for the better. All right. What else here? All right, we'll take these. So we have easy does it. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Peace. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. And independent. Wow. 
your independence is a foundation to your to your strength and success. Wow, some of you definitely becoming independent here. Mother Earth, I've been getting this a lot too. You're called upon to help with environmentalism. It's not that, that's that Earth energy of knowing your value, your worth, being stable and grounded. Um, growth, abundance kind of energy. Wow, Gemini, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. As I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.